What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of I Have No Idea What's Going On In My Life. I'm your host, Damn David. I'm here with my thirsty ass friend, Texan, drinking up all the water. Gang. And uh, we're about to do some real work. We're back, part two on the Bar Chevy. Let's get it, baby. Roll the intro. They call me yellow cause the paint is banana. The clip is banana, I'm going bananas. Look, boy, you a bitch. Get your phones together. Look at him. Didn't fuck with us when we was down. Now we coming up together. You can stay in the back cause all up on track, we running it up together. You said we would flop, now the gang at the top and we don't give a fuck together. All right, so I have come to realize something. I'm a dumbass. Last video we were talking about the coolant and how it could have problems. I admit that this needs a cap. And if you don't know what we're talking about, in part one, I said that we need to fill this because there's no coolant in the car. Now, now, did I not see that this said fuel cold and fuel hot, which means this is kind of a spillover from the actual radiator, AKA why there's a hose angling down. And if it gets hot, it should come up to these levels. What did I do except fill it with water? So, <laughs> so we gotta dump. We do. We, we do have to dump it. But, God damn! But I'm a dumbass, man. That's crazy. Oh I can't my even... God! You're not a dumbass. We learned. We needed a little bit, though. We did need a little bit. We just oh didn't need this entire container. God. Yeah, man. I don't know why. I don't know. Don't 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 ask me why. Uh, we're just gonna dump this, and we're gonna forget that I even mentioned this shit as a possible problem. Uh, but it did make a, an excellent cliffhanger. Uh, for part two, but you know the people watching part one, I, I guess it did make an excellent cliffhanger as well because they're gonna be like, we gotta see what this idiot did in the next video. So <laughs> I know, know right? what I was talking yeah. about, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, we're learning, man. It's for all of you. We gotta figure out, you know, DIY. We really gotta figure this out ourselves. So this is an old car too. It's not my area of expertise. I'm not an expert in general, so I think it's a lifter. What do you think, bro? Uh, bro. I honestly think like uh, it's coming from in the motor. You know, there's water coming out of the exhaust, like you said, but it's like a it's like a condensation. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, as you can see, it's on the floor over here, and it's just a little bit of water. It doesn't look like oil. There's a tiny amount of white smoke, but I mean, it's an older car, man. It don't look like a serious issue. It is a lot of water, but hey, man, the car's been sitting, bro. It's honestly just condensation, probably from starting it and stopping it sitting here. You know, let me know what you guys think about in the comments of this water, but I do honestly think that's a that's okay, bro. I mean, so, even our cars drip water. My car drips water. This ain't dripping. This thing spitting. It is spitting water. It's but lot. it's a V8 with a dual exhaust, and so, it's an old car. So right, well, it's got some it. magna flows on it under there, and I honestly think that's the problem. What are you doing? Oh, you hand me that light real quick. Now, what if you do that and the coolant start coming out, bro? Bro, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you. Something. <laughs> show, let me show you something. All right. Gravity. Gravity. I'll teach you something about science. It's working. What I tell you? Gravity. Oh, okay. Gravity. Okay. I see you. Now, in order for it to even come into the bottle, you gotta uh, you gotta drop it down. That's easy, bro. Yeah, no, I see. That's too easy, bro. What are we working with, bro? A couple of geniuses? <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, we're gonna be here for all day. Nah. You know oh. how many times you got to do that? That is a big tank. Yeah, we're gonna, right, come on, we gonna we dump this. need something to dump it into. 15 times, that's cool. So we're gonna let it get down to this level right here, the bottom level. Getting close. Feel cold. We'll leave it a little bit high. We're gonna say that's good. Now we're about to take the heads off. It's an Allen wrench, and I'm not kidding, okay? We only had one size. He had it in his house, okay? And we thought, one size in your house. Okay, one Allen wrench uh, in this entire house, and it is the exact same size as the one that fits the heads. I'm not even playing. I can't make that up, but here's another thing. We are gonna need different sizes eventually, but today this is gonna work. I just wanna pop each side open and uh, start the car up, watch them go, and uh, see if there's any lifter stuck or anything like that, and uh, let's check this out. Before I 
finish on bone and all that. No, no. Oh my God. Damn. That hoe bit me, bro. You for real? Is that a fly? What is bro, it? Bro, I, I swear I felt that bitch sting through my damn shirt. Bro, yes, because it's a horse fly. They bite? Yes. I ain't gonna get no bump in now, huh? That bitch nigga bit me through my shirt. Yeah, it's a for that's a horse fly, bro. They bite. Bitch think I'm a horse. But the connections are gonna come off. But we gotta make sure, bro. Like we gotta know this connection is this connection. That's what I'm telling you. We need zip ties, 100. percent But we're gonna leave it like that, cause how you know what's going to what? Hey, hold on. Because that that was just that video proof. Yeah, yeah. It's a worst case scenario. Good luck to be in 15 minutes. 50? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I be at work. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's about to be 8 and 50 minutes. <laughs> in a fing hour, dog. <laughs> what the f? That's how I be at work. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. It's about to be 4 o'clock in 6 hours. <laughs> Shit. Yep. All right, there's that connecting. All right, spark plugs are disconnected. All right, y'all. So I pulled the spark plug wires off over here, and I pulled the spark plug wires off over here. We got this little bitty bracket right here. That's in front where the AC compressor probably goes, and it's just blocking it a little bit from pulling off. So I'm gonna loosen it right now, and you're gonna see all the little springs and all the little shit that's gonna be off in here. It's gonna be hot. Hot. A little bit. It ain't gonna spew out. All right, so those are your lifters, right? Gotcha. So we start the car up. If one of these ain't moving, you'll know that's the problem. Okay. So it's probably not gonna be on this side like we said, but you'll be able to see how it moves. All right, bet. Let's get so it. let's crank it a little bit. I'll crank it up. Go again. All right. All your lifters over here. Good, oh, good. good now we're gonna do it on the other side. Keep on hating, I'ma keep on paper chasing it. Glock. I don't even wanna sing it, get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to request a repeal from YouTube, like, I am not Key Glock. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> Crank it up. Right? Yep. Alright, stop singing. Go a little bit more. Alright, stop. Alright. Okay. Everything is working good there. So it's definitely not a lifter. We'll see if we can get a second opinion in the comments. But my opinion is that the car is knocking internally. Yep. From one of the pistons, it's gonna be inside. We're gonna have to pull the heads off, all of that shit, and we're gonna have to start dropping pistons out the bottom. Hey man, let's do it. <clears throat> so we gotta see what's up inside, all of that. Let me know what you guys think, but as the car sits, all the lifters, everything else looks really good in here. It all looks brand new, actually. And uh, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's, it is a rod knock, and we're gonna have to, um, Definitely get supplies, man. We're gonna need some wrenches. We're gonna need colored zip ties. We're gonna need black nitride gloves. We're gonna need a uh, parts tray, a tool tray, um, all of that stuff. So we are gonna start making a list and we're gonna get ready for a serious rebuild because that is something serious. Now we're talking inside. Now we're talking about taking the heads off, checking and seeing what the top of the pistons look like. And then we're talking about my big headed ass getting under there and uh, <laughs> starting to, we got to drain the oil. We got to pull the belly pan off and the crank. Oh man, we got to pull that whole part under the motor out. Man, it's, it's going to be a lot of work. So yeah. um, it's definitely going to be good, but we're going to see what's up here in part three. Damn. Damn. So, I say we wrap it up there. It's getting dark. Yeah. Part one and part two, same day, but uh, a whole lot of shit just diving off in here right off the bat i mean as you can see we already got so much we're going on here so and uh part three is gonna be a whole different type of video we're gonna have a lot more supplies and other stuff but 
yeah man let me know what you guys think about this shit in the comments as always if you got any professional you know and if, if you are a professional that'd be great to have your help but also i am going to be looking some stuff up and doing some research so i will definitely have some more knowledge on uh, part three but just what i know in general is uh getting us to this point but uh what do you think bro man i think i'm ready bro ready, ready? Yeah, let's make it happen because it ain't gonna run for a while Nah, that's cool, bro. You know, I got my everyday driver, you know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah, but man, we got the everyday over here, so no problem. But anyway, that is going to go ahead and wrap up part three. Bitch. <laughs> That's wrapping up part two. But always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that fat ass like button. If you want to stick around the next crazy ass video, be sure to hit that red rectangle and join the family. And uh, if you thought this content was sexy and you like what I'm doing over here, drop that eggplant in the comments. Let me know I'm doing a good job. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one. You got anything to say, Tex? Gang, gang. This motherfucker. All right. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>